taka tiki taka tiki taka tiki taka tiki tiki all right, what are we doing here? Well, I know what I'm doing here. Welcome to the channel. I'm Kalani. This is World Drum Club, and this is a video that will give you a way to improve your rhythmic abilities or rhythmicity. It is a word. I know it's a weird word, but it is a word. A lot of people that, that I'm in contact with my students and people that uh, come to the channel have questions. How can I get better at rhythm? I struggle with rhythm. Maybe you, you're one of those people that kind of rushes and gets ahead of the beat, or maybe you're behind the beat. You're just not on the beat. So this is an exercise. It's like, it's more of an approach that you can use and you don't need any equipment. I'll show you a way that you can just use your voice. You can tap, whatever. You don't need any gear, except you would need a metronome or a an, an metronome app. And it does have to have certain features. I'll talk about that in a second. But here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have a click. So you just need to have an audible click. In this case, we're going straight, just super easy, you guys. We're doing one, two, three, four, one. And you can hear that there's a different click on one. And then we're gonna subdivide it, right? And when we talk about subdividing, it's just basically, for right now, we're gonna talk about chopping everything in half. So we've got four beats now, let's cut them in half. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... Now what's cool about this, if you look down here, uh, the I'm gonna take out the main beat and I'm just gonna leave the ands. And then the first beat. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... So what you can do is vocalize along with that, and then you can start to vary whatever you're doing. It doesn't have to be exactly this. And just have fun experimenting. Now, that's pretty easy. Hopefully you can do that. If you can't do it at this tempo, if this feels fast for you, this is 90 beats a minute, slow it down. So always remember, you could slow everything down to a tempo that's doable for you. You don't want to go too slow. Actually, going too slow can be even more difficult. So I would suggest a medium tempo, 80, 90, 100, somewhere in there. Next, we're going to make things more exciting. So I'm going to put the main beat back on. Now, this is where it gets fun. We can add the upbeats. So we're counting one and two and three and four. And now we can subdivide it again and usually musicians, we're gonna say one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three. Let's take out the main beat. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. You can vocalize anything in here. Ding, ding, ding. And then just say anything along with it, right? Just have fun, experiment. You can focus on the beats. Two, three, four, one, and, 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 one, e, and, two, e, and, three, e, and, four, e, and. All right, so that gets a little, it's a little, a little more challenging. It's, it's starting to get fun, I think. Um, when it starts to feel like you're just hanging on <laughs> and maybe you lose it for a second and everything, that's where you want to be. That's the flow zone. That is you getting into a flow state and, and experimenting. So we want to be in that zone. If you're not in that zone, if it's too difficult, slow it down or simplify. If you're not kind of almost getting it, losing, you know, if you're, if, if it's too easy, then just make it more challenging. Maybe speed it up or do what I'm going to do next, which is... I'm going to remove not only the main notes, these, I'm also gonna remove the ands, one and two and three, and I'm only gonna leave that, 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 that. the 16th notes are the e's and the uhs. Check it out. Let's remove the main beats first. That, 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 one, two, three, four, one, two, let's go. Four, one, e, a, two, e, a, three, e, a, 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 one, two, a. 
1e e and a 2e and a 3e and a 4e and a 1e and a 2e and a 1e so there that not so easy so what I want you to do is put that on create something like that where you've just got maybe the upbeats and then just vocalize along with it. Now I realize for some of you, you might be thinking, hey, that sounds like Konakol or Sokatu or some sort of uh, vocalization system is what you're doing. What are you doing? I'm not doing that. I'm just using any word. You can use any sounds for this. This is not that, all right? So if it reminds you of that, good for you, but that's not what we're doing. You could use Konakol or Sokatu. If you're not sure what that is, look it up after. That's not what this video is about. So what is it about? You're going to have a metronome. You're going to set it with different subdivisions. You've got choices, right? And then you can uh, first set it so you hear the subdivisions and then connect with those. And play along with it. Then start to remove them. Now, if you want to add a challenge, here's what we could try the last thing. Two, three, four, one. Two, three. <laughs> Not that easy. Slow that one down and then see if you can keep everything going and just land on the first beat of every four. So that's a lot of weight. There's a lot of stuff I just gave you here. A lot of homework that you can do. And you could do this anywhere. If you have an app, get an earbud, put it in one ear, and you could do this on a walk. You could do it on a car drive, uh, you know, train, whatever. Helicopter, if you take the helicopter to work. Um, you can do this anywhere and it's really going to help you because if you can get this internalized, that's what it's all about. It's just internalizing the rhythm feel and you can do that. You don't need instruments for this. In fact, I don't want you to practice this on an instrument because that just introduces a whole nother set of mechanical things that you have to do. This focuses on your ability to hear, perceive, recreate rhythms and subdivisions and syncopated rhythms, syncopated rhythms syncopated, <laughs> syncopated rhythms. Look up syncopation if you're not sure what that means. It just means off the beat. Off the beaten path. That's where we like to be, uh, exploring on our own in the wonderful wilderness of rhythm. All right, you guys, what do you think? Have you done this? Have you wanted to do something like this? Have you been wanting to improve your rhythm but not sure what to do? Leave it in the comments. If you guys have another, uh, an, something else that you could add or uh, other things people can try to develop their sense of rhythm, put it in the comments. If you'd like to connect with me more, you know where to find me, patreon.com slash Kalani. Thanks for stopping by World Drum Club. I hope this is helpful. Feel free to steal any of this and share it with your students, your friends, whoever will listen. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys in a future video. Thanks for stopping by.